Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a little update on my garden. Okay, to scare away the birds. See, I got the water sprinkler going on a motion detector. If I walk over closer, it'll turn on the lights with a motor. See? I got the motor in the tree. Sprinkler system going off. I got the fake owls. Okay, and that's protecting my grapes from the birds. And we got the watermelon patch fig tree. We got um, cucumbers down here growing in. Peach tree, tomatoes, corn, and I'm getting the best. <laughs> okay, we got our hazelnut tree. Ah, I'm getting drenched. <laughs> well, at least I know my, my, my bird scarer is working. And over here we have uh, cantaloupe. Look how beautiful these are coming in. Look at that. Cantaloupe. We have uh, over there. I got pumpkins. Pumpkins are growing in nice. Another one here. We got tomatoes. Look how beautiful them tomatoes are. Alright. Look at this. The eggplant. That's a baby one. They're getting bigger. We got more. And then over here we got more. And even larger one down here. Right there, the two of them, and that's and we got peppers. Peppers are coming in beautiful. So this is uh, the second batch of my compost tea. Now I'm brewing it, the third batch, and I added in an extra ingredient. I went down to the beach. I had uh, filled this bucket up with seaweed, and you can see I have the tea brewing. There's the seaweed on top. I, a whole bucket of seaweed in there. I also have in co-potting mix, a bag of uh, miracle Grow. I tried some, I put some 10-10-10 fertilizer, some sweet peat, organic blood meal, molasses, unsalted molasses, earthworm castings, and I also put in a half a barbecue, uh, barbecue uh, briquettes. I crushed them up. And I'm going to see what it does uh, with the compost tea. So this will be uh, my third batch. And that will be ready tomorrow. You know, i got to run it for 24 hours. That will be ready tomorrow. And then uh, I'll strain that all out, put it in my sprayer. You know, I pick up a nice sprayer. And I'll spray everything. the Both sides of the leaves, top and bottom, the stems. The soil, I spray everything, uh, you know, all over my garden. Then I'll take cupfuls and I'll pour it into each one of my uh, self-watering above-ground containers, like I did the last two times, and let it enjoy. It's like, uh, stuff is like steroids for vegetable gardens. <laughs> anyway, there's a little update. Hope you guys enjoy. Happy gardening.